Police were part of a major ring in Brooklyn. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer reports from Canarsie now on the sales of guns and drugs in the middle of the day. This night's nice housing development in the Canarsie section of Brooklyn was quiet today, but according to prosecutors, it was the favorite marketplace of a local gun trafficking gang that sold guns and drugs to undercover cops. The defendant sold an NYPD undercover officer over 50 guns. Prosecutors said two of the defendants bought the guns in Virginia. They were sold during daylight hours around the Canarsie complex, near schools and a church. Some of the guns had defaced serial numbers, others were ghost guns. The defendants, of course, didn't believe that they were selling guns to a law enforcement officer. They, they thought they were selling these guns to a drug dealer. Officials said that several of the guns sold to undercover agents have been used in previous gun crimes committed right here in Brooklyn. We've traced at least three of these guns from this case to previous shootings of the people of this city. We in the NYPD will never forget that the handgun used to assassinate Detectives Wenjin Liu and Rafael Ramos in Brooklyn in 2014 was bought at a Georgia pawn shop before making its way here illegally. Officials said one of the guns was used on August 16, 2021, when armed gunmen fired into a crowd of more than 100 people partying at a family day celebration at the Roosevelt houses in Bed-Stuy. Eight people were struck by gunfire. The police commissioner stressed that even though this case involved only four men, it is an integral part of the city's efforts to make the streets and subways safer. Every illegal gun seized, every shooting that does not occur, Every homicide that never happens is another realization of the public safety focus of the NYPD. And although overall crime continues to be a problem in New York City, the NYPD gun arrests last year were at a 27-year high. More than 7,000 illegal guns were confiscated. In Brooklyn, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2.